Hello everyone, I hope that you are having a great time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view and delete your saved password on Windows 10, 7 or 8. So let's start. We have to go at the search here and we write credential manager. And it will pop up directly this tab here where we have two options, web credentials and Windows credential. I want to mention that for the web credential, here it saved only the passwords for the websites that you wanted in Internet Explorer browser and not what you have saved for Google Chrome and Firefox or other browsers. And for Windows credential, here are saved the passwords for different applications that you use in your computer. And here at Windows credentials, it saved the information regarding the login in different applications on your computer. So for example, here it saved the, for Microsoft Office, the username and password. And if you want to edit it, you press in edit and you can change it here. And if you want to delete it, you press here on remove. Why this is important? It is important because sometimes you may change the password on your software that it is installed in your computer, but it's not updated here and you and you may face problems to log in in your computer. So that's why it's important that time by time or when you change the password, you come here and you remove the password here or you edit with a new password. For example, Microsoft Teams shows many times problems when the password is changed on Microsoft Teams, but it's not changed here in Credential Manager and you'll not be able to log in in Microsoft Teams. Another way how you can show the Credential Manager is by going at search and you write run and it will pop up this tab here and here you have to write the command inetcpl.cpl and then you press ok. I'll write in the description regarding this command and then you go from this tab internet properties you go at content and here we go at the option autocomplete and we click on settings and then we have here manage passwords and it will pop up again this tab here. So this is another way how you can go to Windows credential if you cannot find from search here. So that's all that I wanted to show you and thank you very much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and please leave comments in my video so I can know your ideas or your comments regarding my content. Thank you very much. Take care.